Today on the show, I'm talking with Jen Bailey from Abundant Wise Women, who explains how we can add more yumminess to all aspects of our life. So please enjoy and stay tuned. Hi, I'm Natalie Ledwell, and this is The Inspiration Show. Now, today I'm here with my friend Jennifer Bailey. Hi, Jennifer. Hello. What a delight it is to be here. <laughs> so, uh, just I'm really happy that you Excellent. invited me on your show. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for being here. Now, Jennifer has um, a very interesting story. Uh, you have. You've, can you share a little bit about your background with people that are watching the video today? Absolutely. So, my background is I wasn't always, you know, this happy and joyful. You know, I'm a spiritual coach, so. I left home at the age of 16. I was actually kicked out. I was a little rebellious girl. Mm. I grew up in a family, very dysfunctional, like most of us. And uh, where it was a lot of abuse and addictions, alcoholism, running rampant through the family. And that's when my journey started. Uh, I went from there to living with a family of 13 people. Wow. So I got to kind of see um, a little bit you know, because relationships are always the richest place that we get to learn about ourselves when we become, start to become aware of, like, our identity, who are we, you know, our personalities start to develop, and, you know, it's like, so you get to, you know, be in that place of learning how other people are relating to one another. So being in a big family like that was really an, a very rich experience for me. Yeah. So I was there for a short time, and then I decided to move to California, and hook up with my sister for a bit. But basically, you know, I've been on a journey of up and down, up and down, um, discovering, you know, who am I, uh, you know, making all kinds of crazy decisions, you know, wrong choices. Of course, there are no wrong choices. Every choice leads to wisdom because it, it makes up who you are. Yes. And then I decided to get my master's degree in counseling psychology. <laughs> And from there, it's just been a journey of, and I really did that so that I could figure out why I, why I was so unhappy, why I couldn't be consistently um, a happy person in my life. Why did I attract relationships that were not working? Why did I, why didn't I feel good about who I am in the world? Mm. And from there, it wasn't until I moved to California that I went on a really deep, deeper healing spiritual journey. Of course, you know, we, Southern California is the capital for spiritual transformation, transformational leaders. So many amazing people that yep. are here. Like, this is the hub. Yes. <laughs> so that's kind of a little bit of the background there. And yeah. Right. So what are you doing now? I am a spiritual intuitive coach, and I help people to have an intimate relationship with themselves, to master uh, their natural, their true essence of who they are, to reflect back to them their magnificence, right. to remember that they are here to be happy, joyful people, to right. give compassion and love. Yeah. So, you know, often I find that, you know, I know that now you're doing what you feel passionate about, yeah. you know, but uh, that's always like an event or a series of events that kind of gets you from, you know, where you were to, to where you are now living this passion. So what were those events for you? Well... A major event that just happened about five years ago is, and I like to say, Rune is the road to real transformation. Right. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, some of us have to go all the way to the bottom to, to rebuild ourselves, to reinvent our life. Mm -hmm. So it was, you know, I was living, you know, kind of had thought that I made my way, right? Living the high life, having it all. You know, in the external world, in the physical material world, and I thought, wow, because, you know, I came from nothing. Mm. I had built up, you know, something, and I had a relationship with this man who was the love of my life, and we had a business, a very successful business, and I had done some coaching programs and gotten certified, and but there were still some things that were missing, and there were some addictions still kind of, you know, interlaced in there, and it wasn't until we lost everything, we lost everything, and... It, and I just, I had a dream one day, and I woke up. It was a real dream. I woke up, and I, the dream was about me living and thriving in Europe. And I just decided that I said to my husband, at the time we had gotten divorced, but we were still partners, mm -hmm. I said, I'm, I'm going to move to Europe. And he was shocked. And, but really what that was was it was a journey of 
humility, um, compassion, and self-reliance. And mm. it was really, and I manifested, everything fell right into place. I was so clear on my vision of going to Rome, Italy, that it, bam, 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 it all lined up.